Albers gets a chopper to second. Bernier slings it across to Maurer, one away. When Andrew Albers made his Major League debut for the Minnesota Twins last August, he took to the mound with eight defenders backing him. But in reality, there were more than a million people behind him. It was one of those things where once I got called up, really felt the province behind me and got a lot of great messages and it's been a great feeling coming back and going home. The North Battleford native had a chance to say thank you to fans from his home province at a recent Saskatoon Blades game. His road to a Major League mound was a long and winding one. He was drafted by the San Diego Padres, but an injury led to him being released. After pitching in independent ball, he drove to both Arizona and Florida to try out for teams in spring training before being offered a minor league deal by the Twins. That perseverance paid off as when he finally received the call to the big leagues, he dominated the Kansas City Royals in his debut, pitching eight and a third scoreless innings en route to a 7-0 victory. And a very impressive performance in his major league debut. You, you always dream about something like that happening, but you never really let yourself think that it actually will. And, and to go out there, it was one of those things where we had gotten shellacked the day before and was just really going, going out there and trying to eat up some innings. And fortunately, they just kept hitting the ball at guys. And the defense was outstanding behind me, and it was one of those nights where everything just went right. But his next start was even better as he pitched a complete game in his home debut at Target Field, shutting out Cleveland 3-0. While he had mixed results the rest of the season, he had achieved his lifelong dream. But success didn't go to his head. He returned home in the offseason to resume his old job as a substitute teacher in North Battleford. I enjoy doing it, and it's one of those things where you can choose kind of how much you want to work so it doesn't interfere with your training and things of that nature. So really, it's a great offseason job. You know, you can come and go, and it's not a big deal if you have to leave in the middle of the semester because you're not, not leaving anybody high and dry. Albers is obviously familiar with uncertainty when it comes to his main job, and the 2014 season looks to be no different. This winter, the Twins have added three big-name starting pitchers, which would appear to force him out of the rotation. You don't know what's going to happen. Obviously, they, uh, they added some big-time arms in the offseason, and uh, that competition is going to get a little bit more fierce. And at the same time, it's one of those things that you try not to worry about too much because you can't let it affect the way you prepare. And uh, you, have to, you have to go out there, and you got to get ready for what you can control, and that's getting yourself in as good a shape as possible. But shortly after this interview, word came out that the Twins were working on a deal with a team in South Korea that would allow Albers a chance to pitch professionally overseas. If successful, he could return to the big leagues as a free agent next year and sign wherever he wants. But no matter where he toes the rubber, he knows he'll always have a huge crowd cheering him on from afar. You want to go out and you want to do it the right way, and, and hopefully I was able to do that this last year, and hopefully I will continue to be able to do that in the years to come. And, and it's one of those things where, like I said, uh, the support from the community in Saskatoon, from the community back home, from the province in general, has just been incredible. And uh, to go out there and, and feel like you know they have your back, it's, uh, it's a pretty good feeling. From Credit Union Centre, I'm Simon Hyatt reporting.